Hello and welcome, it's Jennifer here at JP Smith. Today we're going to be making paper beads. Um, and you will need some scissors, your free pattern, um, which just see the details below. We've got glue, I'm using a stick glue um, and some pages of a magazine. You can use newspaper, you can use pages of a book, you can use all kinds of things. And we've got a pen and ruler and um, the bead making tool that I showed you how to make a couple of videos ago. So just look up um, bead making tool, paper bead tool actually is what I called it. And it's under beads 001. Okay, so let's get started. I'm just going to start with a random page. Your free pattern will look like this. Um, which is black lines half an inch apart and pink lines half an inch apart and um, all you do is print it out lay it down doesn't matter how wide it is but and even if you're even if it's wider than the magazine that you've got for example in fact, I'm, um, well, I'll just show you how to do it and then show you what to do if the sizing is different for you so um, we're going to start with the absolute basics by making half inch um, a couple of half inch wide beads so we line it up with any line so I'm going to fast forward this bit as I cut them all out okay. um, the other thing that you might need is I use a piece of cardboard that I glue everything on. You can see it's getting quite mucky. Um, in fact, I need it on the, I like to have it on the right side where I'm working. <clears throat> the reason I do that is when you, when you, when I glue on things, I like the, the glue to go over the edges. And so I'm getting it all on one piece of cardboard. Okay, so here's my first piece of paper. Um, <coughs> um, I've drawn the lines on this side, so I'm going to roll it just that I don't have lines on the outside. And I'm going to start at one end. And um, let me just stand up so that I can show you nice and close. Um, the tool has it's a bobby pin with a long side and a short side. So you're going to slip that in. Sorry, slip that in. Go right to the end so you have the short side underneath and the long side on top so that we use this sharp bit to roll. I'm just going to do it the other way just so you can see the difference. Sorry. You kind of want it catching in the middle. Okay, it sort of works as well. But I find I just get a smoother bead if it's that size. So my clamp is in the middle and I have a solid line here and I just roll it a couple of times. Not too tight because we've got to get the bead off again but not too loose either. I then, I should have had that ready. Lay it down and glue it. And then going to keeping it really straight. And I like to pull it off at this point because I find it easier to roll like that. I find I have more control and it's much faster. You can see the letters coming out on the beads. I quite like that look. So whatever your last half inch or so of bead looks like is what the, um, oh, sorry, of your papers look like is what the bead is going to look like. So we're actually losing all these nice words in there, whatever the words they are. Um, and we're gonna get to the end and smooth it down, line it up nicely. And there we have a paper bead. Now, because of the glue and the glue's through the whole thing, when that dries, it 
it's actually very, very, very strong. It's like paper mache. You think how strong paper mache is, even on a on a balloon. So this is just as strong, if not stronger. In, a, in its very simplest form, that is um, the paper bead. I'm do a one inch one. And now we have a one inch bead. <coughs> So there are two sizes of beads. Now, over the next videos, I'm going to show you many, many variations of these. We're going to make them rounded instead of straight. We can make them small and rounded. We can make them out of newspapers. <coughs> we can use um, a bumpy edge or a serrated edge but all of them are based are using the basics we also use core beads um, which are um, simply one of these sometimes even shorter by shorter I mean the length of paper if you use it half as thin it's still very very strong um, and we use core beads um, so that you have something very easy to thread on but over that we wrap threads and cotton and felt um, clay um, paper mache so that you can build up your beads into all kinds of things and I'll put photos of them at the end of this video but this video is short because I just want you to learn the basics because everything that we do with paper beads is going to be made like that so thanks for joining me. Check out the pictures at the end um, and then check out the other videos that are coming up on the variations.